Clear. I love all bitches. Brown square over bitches. Rich poor slave bitches. Smart dumb crazy bitches. Rude horny dirty bitches. Well, guys. Decided I'd start just going for the easier 99s real quick just because they are very, very fast. And I think one of these here, I'll just AFK this for now. I think one of these here should get me 96. There we go. This one right here. Beautiful. I think what I think 98 prayer is 126 combat from what I remember way back in the day. I believe it's still the same thing. Anyways, sweet. Three more levels to go. And currently, what, 39 more levels to go as well in total? Anyways, here's a look at the bones I currently have left. I think I'm about 1,000 short. I used to have the exact amount, but it's because of this right here. As you guys know, I told you guys I've been doing this as my daily once in a while, if I can even remember. And um, yeah, that is currently how many I have left. Or that's currently how many I have collected. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to use those. I might just wait till I hit 10,000 or some crap, but that will take over a year to get 10,000 of those from just doing um uh just a daily so not too bad but one year plus is a long time just for ten thousand but um i guess once i start doing slayer i might have to just use a little bit of them just to get the bone crusher working but anyways i'll see you guys soon don't want to commentate too much while i'm doing prayer i'll probably be 97 in like two hours not even so lego games welcome back guys it has been a few hours since i have recorded and i have actually in about four or five dragon bones i believe or something like that should be I actually want to see this one. There we go. Level 98 com or no, 98 prayer, and I believe there it is. Level 20 or 126 combat. Sweet. So the, obviously the one more prayer level, and then I will be done. I might consider eventually banking uh, 20 million prayer experience, like 7 million more experience, basically, which is like pretty close to 30,000 bones, I guess, which is expensive. But um, like I mentioned before, my flips I've been doing lately have been pretty damn good. Um, I. Not going to go too far into what I've been flipping because I don't really want to ruin it for myself. But um, it's been pretty solid, especially since I'm also on my other account. Sometimes I flop over to the GE on this account as well, which I'm doing currently the um, uh, 1300 Black Knight kills, I believe it is, 1300. Uh, I'm just doing a little bit of diaries. I have afk a bit of prayer, I'm not going to lie. That's why it's taken me a little bit longer than it should have. Uh, but now I'm doing something AFK on that account so I can just continue doing prayer properly. But... Uh, yeah, I did AFK prayer for like two or three hours, and I believe I have finished most of the Kendaran diaries. Uh, obviously, I got level five BA roll for those things. I camped in Mithril Dragons. I think I killed about 45, and I got the bone drop at you, which was pretty sweet. Um, the chewed bone drop, at least that's what you uh, need to get. But yeah, I just kind of get bored sometimes of just doing one skill, so I just flop onto like, on a different account. And as far as Iron Man goes, I am. Oops, misclicked. I'm just doing this at the moment. Pretty stupid, I know. I should go back to rune span at least, but crafting wise, look at that. 35 point almost 5 mil crafting at like 60k XP an hour basically. So um, that has taken me longer than 200 mil crafting takes with like red D high shields. In fact, I think red D high shields is about 600k an hour. So 300 hours for that. That's only equivalent to about 18 million experience on an Ironman. So that's almost like 400 mil crafting right there in terms of uh, the time it takes to get that skill to um, 400 mil doing red dehydes, which is actually red dehydes are kind of expensive now on a main account. Um, you can do green dehyde shields, which would be like maybe 10% slower, but um, even cheaper actually. But as of right now, that uh, is basically just my go-to skill for an Iron Man, just because it's really easy to get there and it's AFK as fuck. It's like fishing rock tails or anything like that. Um, so it's very AFK. But, um, yeah, I have about 3,000 hours of crafting to do for 200 mil crafting on an Iron Man in that way of doing it, at least, because it's not the best way at all. Anyways, I guess I will see you guys soon. Enough blabbering. Let's get this 99 prayer. And then um, I believe maybe sometime tomorrow once I wake up. Actually, I don't think I'm going to finish prayer tonight. I'm going to go to bed in about an hour and a half. So um, I think I'll just get this level tomorrow. And then once I finish this off, I will go ahead and get 99 feeding probably tomorrow as well. It's kind of hard to commentate while doing this, as you guys know, like all the time my clips are live unless uh, it's very obvious that's not. Anyways, I'll see you guys soon. All kinds of gains. Level 126. Everyone, if you watch this far, I don't think that far into the video, but comment 126 combat for the win below. Welcome back, guys. A few hours has now been up, and I should be getting 99 prayer here. I'm going to probably stop doing prayer like this in a second. Let's see. I got about three more to do. There we go. There we go. Okay, here we go. One more bone after this one, and this should be 99 prayer. Sweet. Sweet. That is sexy. 
I can finally leave this PvP world. I can finally go back to regular or lunar magics, which to me are regular magics. This this is some foreign shit right here, man, being on regular magics. Anyways, next I'm thinking maybe thieving or fire making, and then I'll probably have to do about a week of hunter or some crap, about five, yeah, five million experience off, so it'll probably take like a week depending on how much I play. Um, should be like 45 hours, I think, though, but might take me roughly around a week. I'm not too sure. I have a few things planned for this weekend, or this week at least, so uh, yeah, I guess we'll see. And then for fletching, I could just bang stand and do darts for like a few hours, I guess. Um, I've never used the like script. I've tried to use one for fletching, uh, but I've, I don't really know exactly how to use AHK to a crazy extent. I only know the AHK like to this, which is just like regular mouse keys. You can do this with uh, mouse keys easily. Um, but I've never used AHK for like a crazy method. I don't really know how to explain it, but um, even if it still falls under the lines of one to one ratio, I've never used it to such a crazy extent. So fletching for me might be kind of weird because I don't know how the hell I'm going to play piano on my goddamn keyboard. Anyways, see you guys in a bit. I'm going to uh, do a few more bones probably. I believe top thousand prayer is about um, like 80 cakes be above 99, which is like freaking 20 or like 10 minutes of just powering it out. So I'm going to do that right now, get top thousand, uh, make my high scores look a little less shit, and then I'll be back with uh, possibly thieving because that'll take me about three or four hours, and then fire making will take me whatever time. But anyways, and yes, I might just get 99 fire making, even though wood cutting will get me a bit of fire making XP. Uh, but my goal is to get 20 mil base in the future anyways, so not going to matter. Anyways, let's go. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to a bit of the progress towards the max total, even though I am 99 smithing, I know. Um, anyways, little update. I did get myself level 99 theming. I will uh, show you guys a picture in about a second once I just quickly bank. Uh, currently just smithing some room just because I am bored as hell and uh, I was doing a few things on RS3 and this is like one of the only things I can somewhat AFK at the moment. But yes, I believe actually this is the fire making level I just got. I actually had level 95 as you guys know. Um, so yes, here is 99 prayer and then 99 thieving. And currently I am just smithing because as you guys know my goal is to eventually get 20 mil in most of my stats. Well, actually indeed all of my stats, not just most that would look weird. And I just recently hit 14 point something mil, I guess, in smithing. This shouldn't really take too long. I'm just going to do a little bit of this and probably go back to fire making. Uh, I've done quite a few different skills today, I think. Oh, and on a side note, SGS has disgustingly crashed on this game. I don't really know what's going on with it, but at the moment I'm selling... Oh, sweet. I actually might make about 800k off that, but I have another 8 SGSs I bought on my other account on gains, and I bought them for like... 39.6 and they are currently uh, those ones right there are selling for 39 so that might be a possible like four point something mil loss um but it doesn't matter too much i guess i might just hold them i'm not really too sure what's going on with sgs is there like some weird freaking sarah method that everyone's doing that's making them crash like eight mil the past two weeks i have no clue but i have been flipping them a lot lately and just because uh sometimes when items crash it's like an amazing time to flip them because of all the panic sellers um, and right now I'm doing a bit of panic selling, but only because I bought one instantly for a very cheap price, cheaper than what I've been buying my last ones for, but luckily that was just one person selling it for a little bit too low. I guess not too many people are flipping them or something like that, that's why I got it instantly, but was not good to see. Anyways, currently 228k till 97 fire making, I believe today I've gained, yeah, 1.3 mil fire making, 850k thieving. Um, I even, I, it's still been the same day actually where I got my 99 prayer for 130k XP in that today. And I still have a few more hours to actually go before the day is over. So um, I guess we will see what is going on with my mouse. Do not collect. Oh my god, stupid mouse. My battery's dying, I think. Yeah, it's flashing red. Okay, I'll change it. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm going to continue just spinning for now, finish off some of my RS3 dailies, and then finally return back to fire making because you cannot AFK fire making. Thank god. All right, actually, one last thing I wanted to quickly show you guys, and I noticed this earlier today, I'm not really too sure how, um, but let me just go to the G. As you guys know, these are the chins that I hunted originally that I said I'd probably maybe end up going staking with or some oh. shit, and God damn it, that was my Skype. I want you guys to just take a look at these prices of these things. Now, that is middle, but earlier today, middle was average at 1745 each. <sighs> Holy shit! What is that? What? Holy, that's ten percent over. Sell. That is disgusting. That is the price of black chins, like 
a few months ago. I think Blackton's currently are like 2.4 or something, but Hunter now is roughly 1.3 bill profit for like 200 mil Hunter, which is absolutely insane. Um, I guess if I were to get 99, I'll just assume you get 13 mil XP from 99, even though you can't hunt them until like, well, you shouldn't hunt them until like level 80 or some crap. So let's just say 11 million farming experience, actually. 11 million, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, go over here. Divide that by, I believe it's 265 XP each, if I remember correctly. So you're going to hunt 41.5k of them, times that by 1850. 77 mil off 99 fucking, like that, what? So if you guys are ever looking to get 99 Hunter or even train post 99, you make 77 mil right now off of 99, starting at level 80. So, um, yeah, if you start level 63, I guess, or whatever Hunter level it is, I think it's 63. Um, then you'll make maybe like 80 something mil, I guess. I guess I actually might go do some Hunter pretty soon. I might stop spinning just because like I need to take advantage of that because they, they might go back down. I'm not really too sure. I assume they're getting rid of all the hunting bots and I guess a lot of people do need range levels on the old school and uh, I guess most people don't try. I think training with blowpipes is actually kind of expensive nowadays just because the scales are uh, oops, very, very expensive compared to what they used to be when it was like a decent method to train with. Um, at like Nightmare Zone or something, like 100k an hour, which to me is not really ever worth it. I mean, I guess if you're gonna go really AFK, then you can do that, but training at Skellies is like the only way you can actually train range on this game besides cannoning with Slayer, which is what most people do. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a bit, possibly with some Hunter who knows Lego fucking Hunt gains in this bitch. Small little milestone, guys, but here will be a 15 million smithing experience, not too bad. I am probably gonna probably gonna stop for now actually. Never noticed how much money this was in rune. Like that's that's like 150 mil right there. Anyways, I'm gonna go back to some fire making for right now, and I have been actually doing a little bit of magic and view while doing it, and that was an absolute fail. Here we go. There we go, perfect. I'm um, getting kinda used to it, it's not too bad. And it is try hard as fuck, I know. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a bit. I believe I am like 30 minutes away actually from a fire making level here. So Lego, that will be two, two, four, four total. So it's at 33 levels till max. That will be, it's gonna take a while. Though I do wanna talk a little bit about, um, they have been talking about bringing the soul and the blood altar out to old school. Well, like making them usable, I guess, as like they are actually there, but they're not really usable. At least the rift is there in the abyss. But, um, yeah, I believe they gave some XP rates a little while ago to those methods, and I'm not sure if they were... Oops, can't fire. It's weird how you can fire make in weird places on old school, because I don't think on RS3 you can fire make anywhere near the actual GE, or at least back in the day when it was like this, you couldn't at least. But anyways, as I was saying, um, I believe they said the law, or not the law runs, the soul rift is going to be like 53k an hour or some shit, I have no idea what that means, or 56, I think it was 53, and Bloods I think will be 38, which doesn't seem horrible, but a little bit too much. I'm just gonna be the odd man out and say that, you know what, the last runescape, or the last rune crafting update, they did absolutely ruin the skill, so at least at this point, they're not ruining it as badly as RuneSpan did, but um, yeah, the experience do seem a bit high. I think they're gonna be talking to uh, other players to ask them, you know, what they think the experience should be or something like that, but it might be kind of hard to judge because they're going to have to actually runecraft themselves to get the experience. And how the hell did I have to relight there? I'm the worst with talking while trying to do skills like this, at least for like a video. On stream, it's not as bad, which I don't ever really stream anymore. But anyways, though I do believe this update will be like when Zaya comes, which is apparently going to be in January, which who knows if it's actually going to be in January because uh, most things are normally delayed quite a bit. But then again, with Ultima, I have noticed that they actually... Normally they don't really delay things as badly as like when RS3 kind of did it because it was like they talk about something and like four months later it's out um, and it's like a small little thing. So it does kind of have me wondering if I should even bother to do room crafting with Natrons at this point and just maybe wait till New Year's to do it at like 50% faster pace basically and possibly still making a decent amount of profit from Bloods. Um, or I could just jump on the Soul Rune hype and just fucking make Soul Runes with like I don't know, I think it's 53k XP an hour, like I said, and probably little to no profit unless they um, come out with spells so that use soul runes, but I kind of hope they do come out with spells that use soul runes at least. Uh, they did a pretty good job with the RS3 with the Sirin spells, um, but I have no idea what they would do for old school in terms of using soul runes, because I don't think anyone really does uh, stun alking anymore, so um, I don't know, I guess we'll kind of see.